exciting to share with you today. Most spas offer facials, massages, but have you ever experienced halo therapy? I hope I'm saying this right. It's a service offered by a local spa and wellness center. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about the benefits and a couple more things that the spa has to offer. So joining me today is the owner. It's Christina. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. It is such a pleasure to have you. So I saw the halo therapy and all the other services you offer, and I was just like, oh my gosh, let's talk a little bit about it. We're going to start with the halo therapy, though. Okay, perfect. So halo therapy is our um, main highlight feature. So we have a salt cave that we had built. It is 15,000 pounds of pink Himalayan salt. It is absolutely gorgeous. We hold a lot of events in there. Um, halo therapy dates back to the mid-1800s. Um, Dr. Felix Bakowski discovered it in the salt mine. Um, he worked with coal miners and salt miners. Coal miners were always sick, salt miners are rarely ever sick. So he wanted to do some research, found that salt is naturally antibacterial, antiviral, and antimicrobial. So bacteria and viruses don't survive on salt for more than two minutes. So when you take that salt and you put it in what we have in our room as a halo generator, grinds it up into a very fine aerosol and fills the cave with that salty air, as you're breathing those particles in, they're getting into your lungs and your respiratory tract, attacking bacteria, pollen, viruses, helping you detox naturally and stay healthy. And you actually, we're taking a look now at the cave and some of the other things you have there. That is, at, first of all, I, I hear the benefits of it, but it looks beautiful as well. So, I mean, it's such a great visual element. And I'm actually taking a look here. You brought one of the Himalayan salts with us, with you today. We did. And speaking of all the benefits, I just want to take it and just like rub it all <laughs> over myself. She's, as she's talking, I'm like, oh my gosh, all these amazing benefits. So a lot of people, <laughs> one thing that I lack talking about, because I suffer from allergies, and so salt therapy is a great natural route for allergies. Um, I rarely ever talk about the benefits for skin conditions. So those who suffer from psoriasis and eczema, if they do salt therapy, when the salt lands on your skin, it's your largest organ. So your organ will absorb that salt and the anti-inflammatory properties of salt will help your skin conditions. So if you're somebody who suffers from skin issues, a lot of people talk about you know, going swimming in the ocean and how it clears their skin if they have acne. Same kind of situation. It's the salt that's a healing attribute. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can like mix it with water too. Like could you, do you guys sell the, the salts for the salt tub? scrubs. Or salt so, scrubs. Yep, yeah. so salt scrubs. Um, there are salt scrubs you can use. You want to be very, very careful with salt scrubs, especially on the face, but you can use them on your body. But dating back, I'm sure when you were a kid and you had a sore throat, mom or grandma said, hey, go gargle with salt water. Nobody ever knows why, but now we do. It's antibacterial. Oh, wow. So it starts fighting the infection that you have. So when I relate back to that and with my clients, they're like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> right. So. We have, I have so many questions, but we're running oh, yeah. a little short on time, but I want to know, like, how did, how did you get involved? I know you're the owner of the spa, but how did you get into all of this? We also mentioned a little bit off camera that a lot of the products that you guys carry is also natural, but how did you get into it? And let's talk a little bit about those products. So the business actually developed because I was stressed all the time. So I did corporate sales for a long time, traveled a lot, always stressed. And I wanted to develop a place where stressful people, stressed people who have stressful jobs could go decompress 15, 30 minutes, get away, reset their mind. And we really wanted to focus on the mental health side because what most people don't realize is the more busy you are, it doesn't necessarily help you, it's actually hurting you and your mental health because you're not giving yourself those breaks. So we wanted to create that space. When we created that space, what we've learned is there are so many more people out there that need a place for healing. Um, I think you may have showed a clip, we have a hydro massage bed because we do offer traditional massage, but we also have a hydro massage bed that we brought in first because of COVID. And I had a client come in and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy a gift certificate for my sister. She's never had a massage in her life. I'm like, okay. So she brought her in and then the sister finally opened up with me and she said, you know, I was a victim of sexual trauma mm. and I can't let people touch me. I can't overstep that boundary. And so I've never had a massage because of that, but this gave me an option to reach that and have that, so thank you. And it just kind of opened the door for the healing modalities that people experience when they come into our wellness center. That's absolutely beautiful. I don't think we, you know, anyone thinks about that, but they don't. But I'm so glad that you, you know, you had that option available for her. Uh, well, we're going to wrap things up here, but 
before we do, and I, before we give details of where people can go um, sure. and how to get in touch with you, let's talk a little bit about this special that you have for first responders. So in the Salt Cave, we are doing what we call pranayama yoga. And prana means vital life energy. And yama, I'm drawing a blank on it. It's okay. <laughs> yama is the energy of it. And so what we do with pranayama, it's all breath work. And so that ties into the stress relief. And who's more stressed than first responders, whether it's a 911 dispatch caller or a firefighter or a police officer getting ready to respond to something or coming out of something. And what pranayama does is it takes you from that parasympathetic to sympathetic, you're from sympathetic to parasympathetic to get you out of that fight or flight mode and bring you to a relaxed state. And it's simply just breathing. It is using breathing. We just do it in the salt cave to help them clean the lungs out. Um, and we can do one really quick, it's really simple. Okay. If you want to just put one hand here on your chest and the other one right here at your diaphragm, we're gonna breathe in, take four slow breaths. We're gonna start at our belly and go up here and we're gonna hold it. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Hold it, let it out your mouth. So naturally, did you feel everything just come out when you let that air out? I did. My posture also felt improved as well. <laughs> so it normally happens. So my um, yoga instructor, Amber Arati, she is amazing. And so she does it so well in our salt cave. Everybody that comes and does it, they're like, oh my gosh, I just completely felt like there were no cares in the world anymore. So we really want to try to focus on that with the police officers, with the firefighters. We want them to be able to have another resource and avenue of, you know, stress relief. Perfect. Well, Christina, thank you, Christina. Thank you so much for joining me today and That's sharing fun. this breathing exercise. And where can our viewers go to get more information? So they can go to Shabazz Spa. It's S-H-V-A-A-S-S-P-A.com. We are on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. So if you're ever curious about what the actual cave looks like during a session, there's a TikTok video out there. You can actually see it where you actually do see the salt sprinkles in the air, so. Okay, well, perfect. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. We're gonna have these details on our website, wistv.com. All the information there to follow them will be there as well. We'll have much more Soda City Live coming up after the break.